name is Basu Girinavar. I am a founder of Create and Agri and Biotech Private Limited. I am an agri entrepreneur uh, basically. Uh, about me, I am uh, coming from a farming family. Uh, I graduated in agricultural sciences uh, and uh, from Dharwad Agri University and uh, MSc from uh, HAU Hisar, Haryana and PhD from Texas a &M University. After graduation, I mean after PhD, I started with Reagen, LLC, America, uh, you know, in Texas a &M. From there, I relocated to Bangalore. Uh, actually started the company and then incubated the labs at Dharwad. The idea was to bring uh, complete uh, crop nutrition, crop uh, production initiatives through organics and advisory and sustainable uh, ways and means of crop nutrition. In that uh, sense, we have uh, connected a lot of farmers, a lot of uh, you know, uh, institutions to evaluate our product, the concept. Over a period of time, we have developed series of products for, um, in, the, in the segment of biofertilizers, biopesticides, uh, integrated nutrient uh, management regimen and we got few patented products in our portfolio. Uh, from there, Darbard, we relocated to Bangalore and we started a um, massive um, investment in uh, putting up a state-of-the-art lab and production in it. Currently, we are largest producers of the biofertilizer and biopesticides. Meanwhile, we came across so many challenges. Actually, Indian uh, uh, ecosystem presents too many challenges and um, we did overcome them and uh, I guess uh, persistence and hard work and uh, putting the team, putting the technology, putting the capital will help. So there are quite a few challenges but we need to um, you know, overcome them and uh, work hard and smart instead of complaining. Of course, you need uh, advisors, mentors, government on your side, which uh, takes a lot of uh, creative thinking and working. So, all entrepreneurs uh, should, uh, you know, map the hurdles and overcome them. So, hurdles should not discourage us as we've been in the Maya. Uh, um, conference uh, yesterday and today, so we've been talking about uh, the potential possibilities in Indian agri, eco, agri food and ecosystem for bringing youth into agriculture, agri entrepreneurship, and uh, uh, retaining them, growing them, and making entire ag food value chain you know more efficient and profitable and sustainable. So in this context, this space offers humongous opportunity. And personally, I have evolved three startups, three companies. One is creation, biofertilizer and biopesticides and inputs. Another one is a winery based out of North Karnataka. And third is a technology company. I have an <coughs> app called Agri app. We have reached a quarter million downloads. It is an innovative way of reaching the information and content to the farmers in the local language. So uh, the idea is evolving and uh, we recently got uh, um, you know, startup school um, advice from US and I am looking at scaling up this one as a global ag tech, uh, ag tech company. So um, opportunities are humongous and uh, we are keeping everything positive and looking at currently building an extraordinary team of uh, global competence and raising the capital to feed the growth and bring more technologies, develop technologies, disseminate, connect and uh, work on latest technologies like machine learning, uh, blockchain for agriculture where the potential seems to be impossible that is an untouched area none of the industries have touched and we visualize uh, doing something for Indian farmer who is you know last uh, um, in the in the economic chain or value chain in, in terms of getting what he deserves so this is where the big solution has to be evolved and we are at the forefront I guess I'm um, you know we uh, have to evolve um, group of industries or entrepreneurs to bring a solution in this space. So I'm keeping um, uh, fingers crossed and at the same time uh, visualizing the hurdles to overcome them and uh, grow the organizations. So yeah, great. And farmers, you know, uh, farmers, you are the backbone of the country. Everybody says that and you feel everybody's, you know, uh, stomach. So it's a time to celebrate and uh, be more, you know, uh, calculative, economical, thoughtful in agriculture and conserve the soil. Conservation of agriculture is very important and use of um, fertilizers, pesticides uh, in a um, meaningful way, optimized, integrated or sustainable. Uh, what we call that as an integrated um, you know, nutrient management and pest management. That's a way at this point of time a country needs. So farmer log, you know, they have to uh, subscribe to this ideal way of managing the um, crop nutrition and crop protection. I guess that will give a lot of advantage to the consumers and the ecology and in turn farmers also. So there is a way for us to um, evolve and my sincere request and suggestion to the farmers is you become on-farm scientist.
go and get training go and expose yourself to the other farmers institutes learn study online offline so you become a scientist expert for your own goodness don't come and you know look at me the thing so you have to acquire the knowledge and then build on that knowledge and practice something i always tell my farmers you know i'm a, i'm coming from farming family i grow grape pomegranate sugar cane vegetables you know i always tell my brother my family members to do small scale first then be, if you are successful in that the scale it up don't uh, don't experiment too much in one go so uh, you know where you are heading you know the risk and you can tolerate if it is a failure in small scale so my idea is scaling up requires a lot of risk a lot of team a lot of capital so once you have proof of the concept which is rewarding you economically then scaling becomes more meaningful and rewarding in terms of the risk you have taken so it's 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 even uh, the entrepreneurship is uh, more relevant today to farming than anything else so farm itself is an enterprise where um, we need to bring in lot of um, innovation in soil conservation water conservation to what we use to nutrition to protection to markets it's a huge um, you know enterprise actually connecting too many dots so in that farmers need knowledge content information planning and government uh, comprehensive policy um, you name it we need that on for agriculture sector to make the farming sustainable and farmers more productive and rewarding for their time and effort these are my some of the suggestions and uh, i'm there i've been in 10 in 10 years in the industry i'll be there so i request all the farmers to go organic as much as possible and if not possible go integrated sustainable so with this i look forward to you know interacting with all the farmers there for bringing solutions for sustainable agriculture and uh, prosperity to farmers and the country uh, in in general and specifically to the farmers these are my uh, initiatives and endeavors uh, i hope all of you will uh, uh, join me in uh, providing uh, the safe food to food to the country and uh, secure our soil conserve our soil and ecology in uh, uh, years to come thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to speak all of you and i uh, thank you krishi jagan for sharing uh, you know my uh, information and content and ideas to all of you thank you very much jahir